Welcome back to the Workshop Dojo. Now I've got a little video for you about a tabletop restoration. A friend of mine rang me up the other day and said, listen, we just had an accident with our table. We spilled some vinegar on it and it left it there and the vinegar just went straight through all of the wax on the top. And we tried to rub it down and tried to clean it and it just basically just made a, just like a big hole and it changed the color. Can you help us please? And I said, yep. No problem. And they said to me, please, please, please. Uh, it's an antique, it's like a hundred years old and we just want to leave it exactly the same, but we want to, to, to repair the top of the table. And I said, fine, no problems, let's have a go. Now, after taking a look at it, I quickly realized that I was not gonna be able to, to, to patch up the top in any way in terms of uh, stain it because it just will it just would not match up so i decided to strip it off completely and uh, uh restain it and reseal it from the beginning keep in mind uh i mean this is a kitchen table so it is used in the kitchen uh, originally it was wax and sometimes wax holds up in the kitchen but to be honest with you any surface that you're going to be eating off you really want to kind of think maybe maybe to go for some type of varnish coat an oil oil varnish coat is my favorite uh, you know you go for water based that can work as well but you know oil grease food and hot things going on to it you really need to give some consideration on how you're going to seal it okay first thing i did was went straight into stripping off i'm using a p40 sandpaper which is which is probably one of the most aggressive sandpapers. Uh, it allows me to strip off the top surface relatively quickly. A key point here is that you notice that I'm keeping the sander moving at all times. If you hold the sander in one place, it will basically cut into the wood and you don't want that. You want, you want it just to strip off the top surface. If you find yourself hanging about in one place and it's just not stripping off the top, it means you need to go for a more aggressive sandpaper. Now that's not a problem because you can work your way, as you'll see in, later on in this video, you'll see that I work my way up the grit slowly. I started off with P40, and then I went to P60, um, and then up to 120, and then something else a bit higher than that. But, but that's the process. Because you're stripping off so much top surface, you're gonna strip off a little bit of wood as well, and there'll be all kinds of things mixed up in that. If you possibly can, try to use a vacuum cleaner connected to your sander, no matter what sander that you're using. Or you could do it outside. Um, if you haven't got a vacuum cleaner and uh, 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 you're not doing it outside, absolutely wear a mask. I mean, to be completely honest with you, I've got a sander, I do it outside, and I'm wearing a mask too. I'm gonna use a two-part product called Sickens. Um, it's something that I've used for many, many years, and normally I use this on wood that is external. For example, if it's like a, like a door and it's like a wooden door, uh, I would use this. It's like a two part. So the first part is like a, a, a base stain um, and then you just do two coats of that, let it dry, and then you put the top coat on which kind of becomes almost like a, a um, uh, kind of like a varnish. And this is oil based. So the first stain base coat is oil and the second top coat is also oil. So it's two oil coats. And what I did is I actually uh, did a light sand, I think with three, I think it was 340 grit that I used in between those coats just to keep it completely smooth. Of course, when I'd finished the top, my friend said to me, it looks so nice that we want you to do the rest of the table the skirt, the legs. Unfortunately, um, I didn't make any video of that because I was off doing something else, but uh, uh, um, I did the complete table. 
and it actually looks lovely. It really, really does. And it, it's, it still retains the authenticness of the, of the old table, so, so we haven't changed anything, we haven't altered anything, we haven't done any filler or anything whatsoever. We've kept it the same because that really was the object of it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. This, well, it's supposed to be a short video, but it's turned out into a long video, and I will see you on the next Workshop Dojo.